Hi everyone, welcome to this get ready with me video. Today I will explain to you what I do whenever I get out of the shower and actually make myself ready for a new day. I do have to say up ahead that I don't always wear makeup as in um, concealer or foundation. Foundation is something I rarely wear. I only do that on occasions. So with events or parties when I really go like, ah, all out but for a normal day I would normally use some um, tiny bit of concealer and all kinds of other things but before we're going to the makeup obviously we are going to skincare here we go so I zoomed you in a little so you can see and properly see what I'm putting on my face or what I'm getting off my face because the first thing I do whenever I get out of the shower is check my face check my brows and yes check the occasional hair on your face because ladies we all have it nothing to be ashamed of whatsoever almost every human has it and it's completely normal so like I said we're starting off with a little tweezers and a mirror and I'm just going to see if any of my brows in the middle maybe need some plucking i never went to a brow bar i don't know how you girls feel about that but is it really like recommended to do so i always did my own brows and i'm completely fine with that but some people like advise me to go to a brow bar and just you know try it out but basically i'm very scared to do that i'm like such a pussy when it comes down to my face i don't dare to let anyone touch it except for me yeah. So basically I am only getting out the hairs on the outside of my brow. So as you can see, it has a very clear line and I only like take off the hairs that are right here. And then again, yes, for the guys who are watching right now, uh -huh. girls have hair above their lip. You just don't see it that well, but we do. Everyone has it. So, you know, I'm not ashamed to, you know, do this. <laughs> Okay, I think that is more than enough. Then we're going to the first step of my skincare routine. So first I'm going to use the Heels Powerful Line Re Strength Line Reducing Concentrate. Hello. Um, I really think that this helps a lot against acne and stuff. Now I have a few acne scars as you can see because basically what I did in the weekend is eat chocolate and get some bubble tea, ate pizza, ate KFC and all kinds of crap, which I'm not supposed to be doing. <laughs> yeah, but the moment I do do that, as you can see, this girl gets breakouts very fast. Next thing I am going to do, I'm going to take the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. That is this one right here. And then I have another one, the Kiehl's Rosa Artica Eye. <laughs> And I'm going to combine these two. I know that you probably shouldn't do that, but I always do it. And for me, it works. So, you know, if something works, we keep doing it. It's that easy. Now, when we applied all the eye creams, we're going over to the day cream. I currently use the Dermalogica Skin Smoothing Cream and I use this basically every day. It really suits my skin in a good way. I have a very sensitive skin, so having the right day cream for yourself is necessary, trust me. Now, as you can see, my skin is still like very glowy of the cream I just put on it. The thing I always do is whenever I did like my full skincare routine, I'm going to go dress, come back, get my hair out of this bun and actually do my makeup. So the cream has like a little time to sink in and really go into your pores before you're gonna clog it with uh, whatever it is you're putting on your face. So that is my way of doing. For me, it really works because I tend to get breakouts whenever I put makeup on my face too fast when the cream is still like on top of your face how do you say that you know <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> so i'm gonna be back and we're gonna continue with the makeup hello i'm back and alive feeling good and yes i just did that i i thought the flowers were yellow so i put on a yellow shirt you know just matching anyways next thing we're going to do i just took my hair out of a towel and i like combed it back a little then i'm going to use the argan oil from the brand ogx and i always put oil in my hair whenever i get out of the shower there is not a day that i will skip 
this and I'm very very thorough when it comes to that because I know that my hair is gonna be so dry whenever I don't put this in so like I said I never skip this and I think I wash my hair approximately like maybe once a week if I'm really like dirty <laughs> I might wash it like twice a week but um, yeah for me it just doesn't make sense whenever I go to the gym I need to wash my hair again and then the next day same thing and again and again and again it's really bad for your hair to wash it that much so I think that is also a big thing why my hair is like just so healthy because I take care of it but I don't wash it that much now when that is done the first thing I do is pop on some brow gel this one is from benefit and it's called the 24 hour brow setter I think this one is really comfortable especially when you're sweating a lot just like now you know I'm doing dance 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 it's like a television program in the Netherlands one of the biggest ones and I think you can compare it to like dancing with the stars wherever you're from I think it's kind of the same yeah I'm basically sweating all day and with this one my brows just stay in place and stay fresh and now as you probably already noticed is that I don't fill in my brows because naturally my brows are really really dark and I don't feel like I should add any more brow to it you know so as you can see the only thing it does is that it spreads your hairs out a little more and it gives this fresh just I don't know summerish look uh, I really like the bushy brows so that's why I comb them up now I just zoomed you guys in a little because for the next step I want you to see what I'm doing exactly it's not that special but it is better when you see it like very close so the next thing I'm using is the anti-age eraser from Maybelline New York and this one is in the color 7 sand the thing what most girls do with concealer is that they bring it up all the way from here until there like the panda eyes and then um, like spread it out but for a very natural look what I would like recommend is that let me just get some product the thing what I do is I just put it here the tiniest dot on like the lower part where I think your bone is and then the only thing that I do is basically grab my finger grab my finger that is not a sentence but okay and just wipe it out and as you can clearly see that is super natural and you almost don't even see it then we're going to put a tiny bit here now I was looking at my little thing going on here um, I could decide to put this over but mm, I don't think I'm going to do that like I'm just going to let it breathe and heal sometimes that's better to do than conceal everything that is on your face now I know I'm very lucky that I don't have that many breakouts but when I have something like this I just let it be just let it be all good don't worry now obviously when you're going out all day last thing you want is that your concealer is going to move so what I'm doing is taking this makeup forever powder loose powder it's just translucent and I'm not going even going to dip my brush in here no I'm going to take the amount that is still on the lid as you can see there's almost nothing but that is exactly what I want at this point because if I do too much powder you're going to see it like very badly so I'm just going to swing this through tap it off because like I said I do not need a lot of powder for this and just very lightly go over the concealer over the top of your eye and the thing I like to do is like bring a little bit of powder in between my brows because as you could see I was a little like sparkly shiny shimmering there also under my nose a little bit on top here and that is all I do to just let my concealer stick on my skin and just remove a little you know shiny stuff then we've come to the point of of bronzing I do feel that whenever you're having such a natural look like this you should not make it like too how do you say that like out there it shouldn't be like a huge line of bronzer so what I use is the hourglass bronzer this is called the radiant bronze light as you can see right here there's a slight slight shimmer in this one but the thing I really like about this one is that it actually gives you this sun-kissed glow which is really really natural even though there's a shimmer in it the shimmer almost like melts into your skin without really laying on top of it if that makes any sense so that is the thing I really like to put on my face all I do is like take the tiniest bit tap it 
it off and just pop it on your cheekbone and really on the top of your cheekbone I'm not putting it here where you would normally put the highlight whenever you would do like a full makeup look but I'm popping it on here like as you can see here's my bone and I'm going to put it on there and just spread that out a little now as you can see it's really the slightest slightest detail on my face but it does make a little difference and I feel very like bronzed up and warm in my face you know I have a lot of yellow tones in my uh, skin color so I'm very happy with a bronzer like this now we're gonna do the same on the other side now last but not least I'm going to put nothing more on my brush I'm going to grab my pencil like this that you're having like a little squeeze thing and you're just going to rub it over your nose just the tiniest bit like you've just come back from a sunny island in the sunshine and whatever and you're having this amazing glow so this is everything that i do regarding the face and my skin the only thing that is left is a little mascara and that is it actually so it's not even that much but it does make a little difference you know so the next things i'm using for my eyelashes is this one from tweezer man and i am using the mascara of benefit yeah benefit and it's called the roller lash all you need to do is like i'm always cleaning this one i know I'm not supposed to do it with my fingers but I just showered and I'm very clean you know <laughs> now all we're going to do is actually I'm going to do it like this because I need to see what I'm doing grab your eyelashes bend them just a little don't do it too hard or you pull them out and you let it go and as you can see there's already like a huge difference now we're going to do the same on the other side and there you have it you have a pair of lashes again because normally your lashes grow like to the front to actually protect your eyes from stuff going in but no what do we do we curl them now we're going to grab some mascara and we're going to pop that on there now as you can see i literally use just one layer yeah one layer of mascara on my lashes but because i used like the curler they already are so much like hello i'm here so i don't need that much mascara to actually make them pop the only thing i'm doing now is going to the bottom lash very lightly now as you can see my eyes are alive again and it always gives this really fresh fresh look whenever you meet someone or um, just want to look good for yourself obviously because that is what this is all about the last thing before i forget this is my life saver. I never go out the door without a little bit of Vaseline on my lips. My lips are very, uh, not very dry, but they're just dry and I like it to shimmer a little. Now that is a fresh, natural look, don't you think? And here it is, the final result. All that I probably am going to do is you like put some perfume on and I'm ready to go out. For the people that are wondering, yes, I do sleep with all my jewelry in my ear, also on the other side. <laughs> and um, I know because I always get like a lot of questions about that, but I sleep in them and sometimes I take them out whenever I wash my hair and stuff. Besides that, they're always there and always present to shine. So yeah, this was my get ready with me video. If you have any other questions or something you would like to see on my channel, please let me know in a comment down below. I'll list the products in the description box so you know exactly what I use. I hope you enjoyed and maybe learned something from me, how I'm doing things. And uh, yeah. I hope you're having a very lovely sunny day wherever you are. Sending you much love and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye guys. And one last thing before I forget. I do let my hair dry in the air. I don't use any blow dryer. I don't use a curler. I don't use a styler. I don't use anything besides the oil. That's it. <laughs>